These holes are required for the dual 18S minus configuration, but they aren't used in the 18S plus and 18S minus configuration. So if you drilled these holes accidentally and you're using an 18S minus and an 18S plus, then we do need to cover these holes and you can use the leftover rubber gaskets that came with the car. We'll just screw this side plate back on to keep the air from leaking out this side. Next, I like to take this wire here and just bolt it up to the top so it's out of the way. You can use any threaded bolt you have. Next, we'll route the HVDC negative cable. This says HVDC negative on one side. The other side has a black Anderson connector on it. And this is going to route underneath the bay one minus cable and come out below here, like that. And we're gonna take this cable and route it up through here and screw it into this position right here. And then we're gonna take and just move this black Anderson cable out of the way. You could put it, for example, up through here just so it's not in the way. So next we're gonna install our covers over the fuse and the switch. And then this guy, I like to plug this plastic connector in first. And then I like to put the eyelet here just right there to keep it out of the way. Next we're gonna find the cables that say bay two minus to bay three positive. And we will install that on module three. Module three is the one that is positive on the BMS connector. Uh, so this is an 18S positive module. Flip this over and find the small cable that has a black Anderson connector that is labeled bay three negative. Now we're gonna take module three and we're gonna slide it into the battery pack. Once again, as soon as we get that this module in slightly, we wanna go in and grab all three of the wires so that they don't get caught in any of the various holes. And then we'll slide that in. And now we'll install module two with no cables. So once again, we'll put the current connectors down like so, and we'll stick this in. Now the module two is going to be fairly difficult to install because we're compressing the rubber gaskets in here. And make sure that all, none of your wires are pinched. And we're gonna just slide module two in, turn back around and push it in. It's going to get hard as I mentioned. And we push it in about an inch too far and then we'll come back over here and we're gonna install the bay two negative cable. Like so. Now we're going to push both of the modules back slightly and then we're gonna push module two out an inch or so so that you can put this bolt on. So this is not quite far enough. Now we can put this bolt on. So we'll go ahead and take our bay two positive off. And we will attach and bolt that on. Now we'll push this towards coplanar. Do the same with this guy. And now we're gonna install aluminum brackets here. Now these aluminum brackets were originally designed for the dual 18S minus configuration because I honestly didn't know that the 18S positive modules existed. So they, they are slightly harder to install uh, with the 18S plus and 18S minus, but they do still work. Uh, but particularly this right one is going to be problematic, but that's okay. I'll show you kind of the tips and tricks that I've picked up, but we'll go ahead and install the plates 
and we're gonna put washers on them. And we don't actually tighten these bolts all the way yet. We wanna leave them loose. And we're gonna just take any random bolts that will fit. And we need to move this to where the bolts will go through the holes properly. On the 18S plus and minus configuration, you don't need to put the two bolts here because these brackets are so far apart. There's no worry that they're gonna be accidentally covering it. Uh, and then on this bracket here, it goes in this orientation and we need to bring that down first. And we're gonna take a bolt with a washer and we're gonna grab that standoff with it. And we'll continue to put our bolts in these holes. On these two plates, if they overlap a little bit, you might need to take a flathead screwdriver and just kind of finagle that in. And then again on the top here, we need to make sure that these are completely flush. And as soon as you get these all to line up, we need to tighten these bolts. Now we're gonna take and unscrew these bolts. If these bolts are really tight, then you're gonna have problems putting the air shroud on. Uh, if you can see that you need to like push it this way or that way, you can just remember that and then when you're installing the air shroud, you can push it. So with these bolts out, we're gonna take and plug in this black Anderson connector. And then I recommend taking a zip tie and just zip tying this Anderson connector. And now we're gonna install the fan shroud. Now I will note on the 18S plus and minus, this tab here can contact the switch there. Um, so just make sure you focus on that area first to get it around the eyelet. Once you have it on there, we'll go ahead and install our final bolts. And one thing I wanna point out is because not everything is installed yet, initially you might wanna use a longer bolt in one or two spots, and then you can come back later once you get things tight and put the smaller bolt in. So I've used a long bolt in the top right corner, and everywhere else I'll use the actual correct bolt. So we'll put this guy in. If you need to, you can push this aluminum plate into the pack if the holes don't line up. And we'll do the same thing on the bottom. Starting from left to right is probably going to be the easiest way to install all of these bolts. Okay, at this point we'll take this longer screw out and put the shorter one in, if it'll fit now. And then we'll just tighten all the bolts up. And now we will install the fan wire harness here. Now we need to tidy up the wiring in here. So the first thing we're gonna do is take a zip tie and we're going to put a couple of bends on it here and slide it up through the Bay 3 module. And we wanna keep the head of this zip tie on the bottom here, like that. Next, we're gonna take two more zip ties and we're gonna wrap around here. And then we're going to stick another zip tie into there and put a loop on it like so. And then we will take and tighten the zip tie that's around the BMS adapter, like that, and cut its tail off. And then we need to make sure we position this the correct direction. And so if you look here, there's one side that looks like this, and there's another side that looks like that. And so we wanna actually attach this in this direction here. And so we're gonna actually take and tighten this zip tie around this stud and make sure the orange enclosure bit is right up against that bolt face. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. 
on this side, we're gonna, it's gonna look the same. So again, we have the two different appearances there. This side has a tab, this side doesn't. We want the tab side to be in. So once again, we'll take two zip ties and we'll zip one here and then slide another zip tie through it and make a loop. Tighten this zip tie around the BMS adapter. And then we're gonna take and move this around the back and put it here and tighten the zip tie all the way around like that. Once again, you wanna make sure that the orange cover is all the way pulled up against that stud. And now we'll install the LIBCM PCB. We'll first plug in this 12S connector and we'll put these tabs up. It makes it a little bit easier to install. You don't want them all the way down, but you want them close to being all the way down. That's the easiest way to install. And then on the 12S in particular, you do need to push fairly hard. And then we'll go ahead and plug this connector in. Make sure you get these connectors correct here. If you plug them in backwards, you'll damage the LIBC and PCB. The connector in module two goes in the mating connector here. We'll go ahead and plug that in and latch the tabs. And now we're gonna plug the temperature sensors in. There's one, two, and then the third temperature sensor is right here, like that. And we're gonna take this ribbon cable and plug it in last. Like that. We need to make sure that these nylon covers are more or less in the right position. Uh, and one other thing, the 18S cable needs to go underneath that temperature sensor. Like that. 